Welcome to Flutter Teacher. In this video, we will learn the positional parameters in the function. So without wasting time, let's get started. Positional parameters are the parameters which are passed based on the position. It means whenever we have a function here, then in this case, the first value goes for first parameter, second value goes for second parameter and so on. So let's understand this example. Here I have defined a function called taste that receives total three parameters a, b and c. Now these parameters a, b and c, these are actually the positional parameter. The reason is, when I want to call the function taste, it's compulsory for me to pass the value in the same sequence I have defined in the function header. That is, the first value 10 will compulsory goes for a, second will go for the b and the third will go for c. So I don't have any option to pass the values as per my required sequence. I must go for the actual position that is there inside a function. So when I run this program, you can see as output, I'm getting the value of a is 10, b is 20 and c is 30. So I hope it's pretty clear for you guys why it is called the positional parameter. All positional parameters are compulsory. That is, it's compulsory for me to pass the value for all these parameters. Let's say if I try to remove this parameter 30 from here and you can see I'm getting the error here. The simple reason is all positional parameters are compulsory. That is, I'm specifying a value for 10 and 20, that's fine. But for C, there is no value supplied. That's the reason I'm getting error here. It's possible to make your positional parameter as the optional parameter. In order to do this, simply you have to place your positional parameter inside the square bracket. So as I have specified this int C inside a square bracket, it is actually a positional parameter and this is the optional parameter. Often in the sense, it's not compulsory for me to pass the value for C. Now as we are in the world of null safety, so if someone is not passing the value for C, the value for C will remain the null. And as this C is a non-nullable variable, then I must change it to a nullable variable. So if I change it to nullable variable, means the C can receive the null value here. So if you don't know what is nullable variable, non-nullable variable, I recommend you guys, I will place a link in the description and just check out that button to get the link for my video where I have talked about null safety in the Dart. Now in this case, I can call this function by passing the value of C or by simply ignoring the value of C. Let me call this function again, let's say value 55 and let's say the 60. Here. Now when I rerun the program, just observe the output. For the first call, I'm getting the value of A as 10, value of B as 20 and the value of C as 30. So this is what the value are specified. But in second time, when I'm calling a function, I'm passing the 55. Obviously, it's a value for A as, as it is a positional parameter. The 60 is a value for B. And you can see as I'm not specifying a value for C, that's the reason the value for C is null here because the C is a kind of nullable variable. That allows us to provide default value for optional positional parameter. You can see in this case, when I'm running a program, I'm getting the value of C as a null here. But consider I don't want the value of C null when someone is not specifying the value of C. So in this case, simply I can write C is equal to some value. Let's say I'm specifying C is equal to zero. So in this case, the zero that I have specified for the C is called a default value. It means when I'm passing the value for parameter C, whatever value that I have passed, it will be used. But in case if I'm not passing a value like this, then in this case, the C will use the default value instead of using the null here. The concept of default value is applicable only for optional positional parameter. What do you mean by it? You can see this parameter C is actually the optional positional parameter. That's the reason it's possible for me to specify default value for C. But let's say if I made it a compulsory parameter, that is I change it from optional to the compulsory parameter. Now in this case, I'm getting the error here. That is, I cannot specify default value for the C. So make sure that default value is applicable only for those variable which are the optional positional parameters. When we want to make our positional parameter as the optional parameter, then only the trailing parameters can be made optional. It means, let's say, I have total three parameters A, B and C. 
out of these i want to make two parameters as the optional then i must make the last two parameters as the optional i can't go for making a and b as the optional so here i can specify like this b and c now as i now as i have placed this b and c inside the square bracket these are actually the optional positional parameters and now you can see this program is good to go there is no error so i have specified the last two parameters as the optional and when i run this program you can see i will get the value for a b and c as 10 20 30 but if i remove the value from here and when i rerun the program in this case a will receive the value 10 and b and c will hold the value null but let's say if i want to specify the optional parameter as a and b so i can't do it let's say let me try this one here and you can see when i have specified this a and b as the optional parameter then i'm getting error here so i hope it's pretty clear for you guys that whenever you want to make your positional parameter as the optional parameter you have to think in the form of right to left not in the form of left to right that's it for this video see you guys in the next video if you really like the way i'm explaining the concept then don't forget to like share subscribe my channel and hit the bell notification button to get my latest videos